Just left Transformers. Just walked out in the car now where it's a little more quiet. So I can give my uh, review, a quick reaction. Um, I went into this film, you know, like I go all Transformers films, not big expectations. I uh, just want to see some decent action, some nice effects, you know, little human, you know, just Transformer stuff. Popcorn and soda, as my boy Mike Newton used to say, R.I.P. Um, but I'm going to say this. I thought the movie was phenomenal, actually. I thought it was really good. It it checked all the boxes. It had the, you know, the, the action. It had a little bit of heart in it. it had the heart to it, you know. It had, uh, you know, the humor. Uh, Pete Davidson did his thing as Mirage. Um, of course, we got Optimus Prime, Peter Cullen. I mean, the the voice cast. It it they they stepped up the voice cast. You had Peter Cullen, of course, always, and uh, Michael Dinklage was um, Scourge. Uh, you had um, my man. I uh, can't think of his name right now. Uh, from Sons of Anarchy, who played Optimus Primal. So, I mean, the, the voice, if you just look up the voice cast was on point. Pete Davidson, of course, plays Mirage. And then you had uh, Michelle Yeoh in there. as her, I mean, it was nice cast voice-wise. Um, but I'm going to say this. The director, it takes place back in 90, like 96, something like that. It's in the 90s. So, the soundtrack is really a soundtrack of the 90s. And I thought that was cool. And the director, Don Cable Jr., as we know him, he directed Creed 2 and things like that. He 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 did his thing. And I'm gonna tell you why. For the first time, the man thought about what I've always been screaming about. And I know we love the kids. We love the kids, just like Wu Tang's for the kids. But the bottom line is this. These movies make money from us, from my generation, from our generation. We bought the toys. We watched the cartoons. That was us. So we're going to come and pay the money to see it in the theaters. He made this movie for our generation with all of the nooks and crannies by, by even setting it in the 90s. The soundtrack on point. Um, action was beautiful. And of course, Unicron. They had Unicron and they did him so nicely. So, shoot, shout out to Don Cable Jr. who who just uh, he did his thing on this and they had a nice little twist at the end. Uh, I'll talk that later next week on a spoiler review. We won't get no spoilers right now, but I said, go out. Say if you if you from Generation X, you need to go see Transformers. Um, it definitely was made for our generation, but. Of course, the younger generation is going to get it, too. They're going to love it, too. It has all that in there. So, um, yeah, man. I give it a solid 7.5, 8 out of 10. It may be, It's the best one, honestly. Um, up until this point, my favorite was um, Bumblebee. The, the movie Bumblebee. Uh, this one, I think, is the best one out of all of them. So, that's it. I'll get back at you, your boy, Wes. Peace.